This is what the room looked like before. All right, here is my new budget home theater. Boom! Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. I'm doing a total renovation of my house. This is the before picture of the kitchen. Looked like out of the 80s. Now look at it. I painted the cabinets, put new harbor on. Totally different look. The dining room, straight out of the 80s. Now look at it. Boom. Into the modern era. Much better looking. And this was the living room. It looks like it's out of the 60s. Now look at it. Boom. Modern era. And this was the guest room. Straight out of the 80s. Now look at it. Boom. Really nice. And this is the front room that I'm turning into the home theater. Totally renovated. Here is my budget home theater. Boom. It may be budget, but it is awesome to me. Check it out, man. I spent a total of $7,500 on everything. And I mean everything. The carpet. The paint, the ceiling lights, the couch, the projector, everything, audio-visual equipment, everything. $7,500, man. Some people spend more than that on a freaking projector. Um, I'm going to go over everything here, but I have links to everything in this theater in the description and comment section of this video. And I tell you, I got deals on everything I never pay top dollar for nothing. I want the best bang for my buck stuff. I do tons of research. And this all came out awesome, man. Check it out. Uh, we'll start it off with this carpet. I had this uh, done by Home Depot. First time ever, man. They came out here. It was awesome. They came out here and measured it. And then they came out here and installed this. And I think this is a little over 2,050 something a square foot. And this is very, very dense. Awesome, awesome carpet. Very quality carpet. Um, I have, like I said, links to everything in the description and comment section of this video. So if you want the exact carpet that I have, the paint color that I use, I got links to all of that in the description and comment section of this video. And this awesome beast projector here, which is on sale, man. This is the Epson 5050 UB. Like I said, I got a link to it. And this is a beast, man. This, a lot of people love this projector. I did a lot of research. And uh, I was really just going to spend like a thousand on the projector. And I said, you know what? I got to get the beast. Check it out. Check out the wiring there. Nice and clean in the ceiling there. I did have to uh, put a stud in to support this. Really easy though. But I took a two by six stud. And, uh... And I actually set it so that it overlaps the 2x4 for extra strength. So, I mean, you can literally do pull-ups on that stud that I have supporting this projector. And I did not spend a ton of money on no projector mount. That ceiling mount there, guys, was $23.99. <laughs> and it is great. No problem. It's all about the support of that stud. That's the main concern. Some of you guys spend hundreds of dollars on a ceiling mount. It's ridiculous, man. From this projector, like I said, oh, man, this thing, the colors are absolutely awesome, man. It's like you're in the movies watching the screen here. It is awesome. I didn't even set it up yet, guys. This is straight out of the box video. I love that, that lens, how the, the lens cover automatically closes and opens when you cut the uh, cut on and off the uh, projector. A proper projector. And I tell you this, these uh, ceiling lights that I put in here, these are Wi-Fi smart recess lights, six inch. And these are controlled by an app through your phone. You can control each individual light. Um, you can change colors. You can do all sorts of things. It is really awesome. They use very little energy. Pretty, pretty easy to install, but a bit tedious. This sofa here is from Costco. They just delivered it today. This is the... Thomasville Tisdale modular sectional sofa and I'll tell you I thought I was going to have a problem having them deliver it through this narrow doorway this is 29 and a half inches guys I can confirm as you see here they brought it through here no problems guys no problems they they brought it in they took the boxes and this is an upstairs bedroom they carried this upstairs each individual piece is five pieces and um uh, and they and I did have to set it up myself, which I didn't mind that. I was just grateful they brought it up here, man. 
Um, but this thing is awesome. You can configure this in various ways. You can configure this in, in like a bed, put it all together in a bed look. You can make it two different sofas. You can do all kinds of stuff. It's awesome. It even has a thing here where you can put, uh, so I have this turned around, but you can put, check it out. You can store stuff in there and um, like put blankets and stuff in there. And stuff in it is really, really comfortable, man. And a good deal, guys. Good deal. I think it was like $16.99 or something. What, 1800 and something with tax? That's a good deal. I wanted to do the sectional instead of the traditional recliners, you know, that some people do, the movie theater seating. That you know, it's cool and all doing that, but it's more it's more awesome having the sectional because you can set this up in various ways. You can lay up on it. It's just more comfortable and just just lay back and and watch the big screen here. This is a 120 inch big screen here, and this is a fixed screen. And I only pay like 160 something dollars. Like I said, I got a link to everything. Best bang for your buck. I spent literally probably a week doing research on all this stuff to make sure I got. The best deals for the best products, man. And so far, it is. I am. I'm just. Oh man, astounded by everything. The ceiling to floor blackout curtains here, completely blocks out. Look at that, all the way up to the top. Got a link to these as well. Look at that, all the way to the top to the bottom. 95 inches. You don't see any light, guys. It could be bright day outside. It completely blocked off in here check it out and i decided to put them on the other side as well so that it gives it that kind of movie theater feel and not like you're in a bedroom and uh, oh man it's really nice and i have all the wiring from the projector uh leading over here and all the uh surround sound speakers and equipment everything leading here to the closet here which this curtain covers a closet See all the auto visual equipment in here. As you can see, the wires come down. Look at that awesome brush plate, just like by the projector. I have a link to that if you want to get it. Uh, check it out. Yamaha receiver, baby. Yamaha. I'm the Yamaha fanboy. <laughs> Got the Ultra HD uh, uh, Blu ray DVD player. Check it out, man. I didn't get top of the line audio visual equipment because. Dude, I don't want to blow out the neighborhood and have them call the police and all that, man. I just wanted some good sound. I didn't want to break the bank, be spending several thousands of dollars for sound. I'm not an audiophile. I just want some good bass and some clarity. And I tell you, um, that's that's the subwoofer there, the center channel speakers, and I got the rear surround sound. The ultimate movie watching experience. Woo! 4K Ultra HD. Step into amazing. Sounds awesome, man. Uh, so by the way, this is uh, one of my four bedrooms in this house. Um, I don't have a basement, so this is an upstairs bedroom, and um, pretty pretty nice size. It's a perfect size for this theater, man. This is nice. I tell you, it's just so awesome just to sit back and relax. Long day of riding, sit back here, man. Ah, throw on a nice movie and uh, just chill and just even fall asleep. And this couch, look at that. It's just, ah, uh, it's like I'm isolated in my, my movie theater here. This is awesome, man. I tell you, this is a dream of mine. It's something I always want to do, but I didn't want to spend tons of money. You know what I'm saying? Do this super custom build with sparkles in the ceiling and all that shit that you guys do, which is awesome. Don't get me wrong. I'm not hating on your setups. But I just did not want to spend like $50,000, man, on a, a theater when really, I get the same enjoyable movie theater experience, man. You know what I'm saying? Nice and comfortable, awesome projection. Projection and, and, and oh, man. But I don't know. What do you guys think, man? You think what? I, I'm thinking about adding a PS5. I'm not really a big gamer, but I, I've never gamed on a big, huge 120-inch screen. But anything else I should add, you think, guys? Leave a comment below. What do you guys think? But uh, I'll give you a long-term review on this this uh, Thomasville Tisdale sectional. Check it out. It just feels really cozy in here. Just just a really good vibe. Oh man, I really really like it. It came out really nice. As you guys know, I'm I'm totally renovating my house. This is I think about the fifth 
my sixth room I've done so far. I still got a bunch more. I'm actually turning uh, the the great room or whatever, the, the family room, I'm turning into a billiards room. I'm getting a really awesome seven-foot pool table in there. And I want to get some uh, one-up games. I guess that's what you call them, one-up, them arcade games. I'm going to get a couple of those arcade games in there. I don't know. What do you guys think, guys? Leave a comment below. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. Like I said, I'll... I'll probably do a future long-term review on everything, projector, uh, sofa, everything. Hit thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit that bell symbol so you get notified when I release new videos. Appreciate all you guys, so until next time, catch you guys later. Check out my playlist for new writers and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.